Good morning, America. Today is um, Tuesday, March the 6th. We're going to finish off where we left off yesterday with uh, 2 Kings chapter 23. Um, we're going to start off with um, the last verse we read yesterday which was uh, verse 27. It has uh, 37 verses in this, so this will be a fairly short reading, just a continuation of the chapter. Um, the remaining colors will be gold, which is the one we're going to start with, and silver, and we have two verses of black, which will be verse 32 and verse 37. The remaining is for silver. Okay, and as yesterday, um, Second Kings chapter 24 is about Joshua directing the people to obey God. Uh, it, we're also going to, um, we learned about Joshua's death in a battle. And Jehoahaz and Jehoiakim are the kings ranging in Judah. Uh, verse 27 was the one and only verse in this chapter that had uppercase lettering in it. So we're going to start off with that. It says, And the Lord said, here comes the uppercase lettering, I will remove Judah also out of my sight, as I have removed Israel, and will cast off this city, Jerusalem, which I have chosen, and the house of which I said my name shall be there. Okay, so this was his this the, the Lord's judgment against Judah and against Jerusalem and against Israel. Okay? Verse 20, 28 to 31 is all silver, so we're going to find out what happens after the Lord makes this statement. 28 now the rest of the acts of Joshua and all that he did, are they not written in the book of Chronicles of the Kings of Judah? And one thing about Joshua, he was a very, he was a very, very special servant to God. Because as it says in verse 25, And like unto him there was no king before him that turned to the Lord with all his heart, and with all his soul, with all his might, he went around uh, destroying all that the Lord deemed as an abomination. He went around with zest, uh, destroying, taking down, burning uh, down to ashes and completely cleaning the earth of all that was offensive to our God. So he was indeed a very special man indeed. And with all his might, according to the law of Moses, neither after him arose there any like him, even unto today. Joshua was very, very special. Okay, 28. In his days, Pharaoh Nicro, king of Egypt, went up against the king of Azaria to the river Euphron. And King Joshua went against him, and he slew him at Megiddo, when he had seen him, thirty, and his servants carried him in a chariot dead from Megiddo and brought him to Jerusalem and buried him in his own supper. And the people of the land took jo Joahaz, the son of Joshua, and anointed him and made him king in his father's stead. So uh, jo Joahaz did take the range from that point forward. And Joahaz was 20 and 3 years old when he began to range, and he ranged 3 months in Jerusalem. And his mother's name was Hamutal, Hamutal, um, the daughter of uh, Jeremiah of Libna. 32 is that black verse, and he did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord according to all that his father has done so he was not liking unto his father at all 
Okay, so therefore he did not range for very long at all. Uh, 33, and Pharaoh Nico put him in bands at Ribla in the land of Hamath, that he might not range in Jerusalem and put the land to a tribute of a hundred talents of silver and a talent of gold. 34, and Pharaoh Nico made Elakim, the son of Joshua, king in the room, of Joshua his father and turned his name to Jehoiakim and took Jehoahaz away and he came to Egypt and died. So he reigned for only three months and died shortly later. 35 And Jehoiakim gave the silver and the gold to Pharaoh, but he taxed the land to give the money according to the commandment of Pharaoh. Mm. He exacted the silver and the gold of the people of the land, of everyone according to his taxation, to give it unto the Pharaoh Nicol. Jehoiakim was twenty and five years old when he began to range, and he ranged eleven years in Jerusalem, and his mother's name was Zabuda, uh, the daughter of Fadia of Ramah. Thirty-seven it is giving us a little information about this new king now, and he did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord, according to all that his father had done. So it goes, it goes to show us just because our parents are God-fearing individuals and God-loving individuals does not necessarily mean that our children will follow in our footsteps. And of course, when this happens, uh, whether it's in a biblical time or whether it's in our time, um, the children who do not follow after God tend to have a very short um, time of prosperity. Um, that evil nature seems to deplete them of their blessing. And these two sons um, did not follow in the footsteps of Joshua, and therefore they were not able to lead as long as Joshua did. So it is very, very important, America, to make God your leader because he will direct you. And if you follow his commandments or his statutes and ordinances, then blessings will be uh, the majority of your days. And when trouble does come your way, God will hear you immediately before you call him. His ears will be hearken unto your voice. So uh, it really pays to get to know the God of this universe because he is an awesome God indeed. He is not like any other God. He is real. He is the maker of everything that we see. He is our strength. He is our buckler. He is our redeemer. He is worthy to be praised. So if you don't know him today, get to know him and I promise you, you will not be sorry. Okay, and uh, so we have finished um, all 37 verses of um, 2 Kings 23. That will be all for today. And as always, may the peace of God be upon thee. May the protection of God surround you. And may the will of God for your life, whatever that may be, come from thee. Thank you very much for listening to us here at Spiritual Water. My name is Brenda Guerrero. Enjoy the rest of your day.